Hi, I'm Mike Byers, product planner for Keysight's high-performance real-time oscilloscope business. Today, in this short video, I want to talk to you about making 110 gigahertz oscilloscope measurements with more than four channels. So if you're in coherent optical research, 6G research, 3.2 terabit ethernet research, you may need to make measurements of more than four channels. So how do you do that? So first of all, you're going to want to start with the UXR. Keysight's UXR has up to four channels of 256 giga samples, 110 gigahertz bandwidth channels simultaneously. So 256 giga samples on all four channels simultaneously. So if I want to go to eight channels, I grab a second uh, oscilloscope. So how do I traditionally make an eight channel measurement? Well, I put the two oscilloscopes on top of each other. I run the 10 megahertz reference in to the second oscilloscope, I run the aux trigger out to the second oscilloscope. What are the problems with this? Well, number one, I have two displays. So if I want to measure between channel one and channel five, that's difficult. Number two, I'm distributing a 10 megahertz reference. And we multiply that up in both scopes to the 256 giga sample sample rate. That multiplication just leads to too much frequency drift for a good phase coherent 110 gigahertz measurement. Last but not least, we're distributing the trigger from one scope to the other asynchronously. So the asynchronous trigger input of the second scope adds a picosecond or more of RMS jitter to this oscilloscope's measurements relative to this one. Again, way too much for good north of 50 gigahertz uh, coherent measurements. So what do you do? Well, Keysight introduced with the UXR the idea of a multi-scope measurement. We call it multi-scope, and what it does is three things. Number one, it imports the data from all the oscilloscopes you're using. You can synchronize up to 10 to make 40 channel 110 gigahertz measurements. It pulls the data from all the oscilloscopes into one GUI, where you can now make measurements across all 40 channels just as easily as you could between four channels before. Second, we distribute not the 10 megahertz ref, but we distribute an eight gigahertz reference clock to synchronize the time bases between the oscilloscopes every bit as good as between the channels within the oscilloscope. Last but not least, we distribute a 400 megahertz clock that we use to synchronize the trigger. So now we are transmitting the, the uh, trigger between the oscilloscopes synchronously. And that removes that one picosecond RMS of jitter. And the performance we get is outstanding. The, the additional jitter you get between measuring between channel one of this oscilloscope and channel one of this oscilloscope is only 10 femtoseconds RMS more than between measuring two channels on the same frame. For more details, please contact your Keysight sales representative.